I guess, when did the process start for you to kind of shift from regular season mode to getting this team ready for what's coming now mode? Or did that start like in October? Yeah, well, as soon as we uh, as soon as we solidified our spot, you know, our position, um, you know, my mind shifted. Obviously, um, you know, at this stage of the game, I think, uh, you know, the most important thing is if anything is disrupting your focus, if anything is disrupting, um, the, the one common goal that we all have in mind is if, if anything is challenging your mental health right now, you have to eliminate it. All distractions have to be eliminated at this point in time. Um, if you can't control it, there's some things that are out of your control. But the things that we can't control right now, we have to control it. We have to eliminate distractions. We have to focus and come together. How much does it matter? How much? I know it doesn't, so I'm afraid to even ask. But the perception that you know, Boston is this, Brooklyn is this, Philly is this, Milwaukee is a defending champ. You guys, I hate to even ask you this, but you guys almost feel disrespected as a one seed because it just doesn't seem like. There's a lot of belief out there in the world of noise, as Spo would say, about what you guys can do. You want my answer or Spo answer? <laughs> I'll take yours. You don't want my answer. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever. Whatever floats their boat. Didn't what Hero say? Didn't Hero say that? Whatever floats their boat? Whatever floats their boat. Whatever they want to talk about, whatever makes headlines. I'm fine with it. Um, we come in here every day. You know what I'm saying? We put, our, we put our hard hats on, we grab our lunch pairs, and we go to work. And we see the results. You know what I'm saying? It might not be the sexiest. We ain't got nobody out here scoring 85 points in one game. They ain't got none of that. But we were winning basketball games collectively as a unit and as a team. And I'm sorry to everybody in the basketball world that's, that's not sexy enough to you guys. But we're thankful for the guys that we have and the opportunity we have to be the number one seed. We were watching last night. I know you were watching Yeah, we watched. We watched. We watched, we watched. We watched together as a team, um, obviously. Brooklyn was impressive. They were very impressive. Um, Cleveland fought hard, um, but our focus shifts. You know, I don't think that'll be our first opponent, so our focus shifts to who our first opponent will be. Does it change when you know after Friday's game when your first opponent will be? Because I know you're going to say it doesn't matter when you play, but does the focus change? Yeah, it focuses on that, on that particular opponent, yes. Um, right now, it's up in the air still. Um, when we figure out who our opponent will be, yes, our focus change, shift on that opponent, shift on matchups, um, you know, shifts on schemes. Um, and obviously the coaches will shift on rotations and figure out what guys will be um, as, as useful as possible in those matchups. Uh, no, go ahead. That's been our season. You know what I'm saying? It's been a lot of uncertainty with guys in and out, with COVID, with injuries and different things like that. So for us, it's really, you know, a lot of waiting and next man up. And when your number's called, be ready. You know what I'm saying? You got to pivot. Um, you got to pivot. Nobody's going to feel sorry for you. You got to step out there. You got to produce. And you, you got to hold the fort. So um, that's, the, that's the mentality we've had all year. And I don't expect nothing less, uh, you know, moving in. Um, as soon as we find out who we'll get, get in the first round, the guys going to line it up, next man up, and we'll be ready to go. How much you been to the band through all this? Too much. <laughs> Too much. You got my damn nerves. To be honest, how important do you think it was, you guys being able to take all the emotional adversity of the losing streak and look at how you guys actually ended up in that You see what happened, right? How many won after that? Five See that? That's a typical day in Miami, man. That's, what, that's how we get stuff done around here. We believe in eye-to-eye -eye communication. We don't got, what, it's 90 seconds in a timeout? We don't have all the times to figure out everything. We believe in getting to solutions. How can we get to the solution? You say what you gotta say, I say what I gotta say. I love you, you love me. Let's get back on the basketball court and let's play. Um, and it's just as simple as that for us. We have two like-minded people that are working towards getting to the same goals. Sometimes you might miss something, that person might miss something, but the goal is the same and the goal remains. We're here to win the championship. Jimmy's my brother, I love Jimmy. Um, and I do anything I can to help these guys win. So after that, Fast forward, five, six game winning streak. Typical day in Miami. <laughs> Typical day. Feel about the, uh, kind of the wonkiness of the playing tournament. You guys have a week off, but at the same time, you're not going to know you're only going to have a day to kind of get. You don't get a week off in Miami, brother. There's no such thing as a week off here. You got a couple days. Sure. You got a, a couple days. Yeah, you don't get a week off here, so. Rephrase that question. We got a, a week, couple a days. Week between games to the pros out, the there pros you go. out the We got a couple days, man. But honestly, I think we needed those couple days. Um, you know, uh, mental health re re reboot. Um, you know, we got to focus on you know a couple things more than just basketball. You know, a little golf, a um, little team bonding. Um, and I think that's important. You know, through all the teams that I played for, all the championship runs, um, 
I think the common denominator has been the, the relationship, the genuine relationship that the guys have had, not only on the basketball court, but off the basketball court, how they care about each other. You know what I'm saying? If I can use a better word, it's just the love. It's love in this locker room. It's love in this gym. We got love for each other. So all the teams that I play for, the one common denominator is just having that love for your teammate beyond the game of basketball, knowing their families, knowing their kids, different things like that. All that matters when you come in here and play the game of basketball.